We've got five keys with a super low entry point at under $25, and we're gonna start right now. Comically correct comics. Thanks so much, you guys, for tuning in to another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about five keys under $25, and, um, before we do that, I want to give you just a little bit of a channel slash life update. And I apologize if this is repeat information, but if, it's, if you're new here, if it's your first time watching, I'm currently moving. Uh, I'm in the process of moving, so everything is a complete mess. The sound, the lighting, the green screen, it's all probably a little bit off. And why do I tell you this? Because there is hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost ready to move into our new house, which has a studio slash man cave, which is actually a shed, but I'm gonna convert it and it's gonna be absolutely epic. And um, the reason I make such a big point to tell you all this is that I have a lot of things working against me right now um, to providing good content for you guys. And I expect that to change drastically very, very soon. So um, hang in there, uh, bear with me and um, expect to see some even better content coming in the very near future. That said, today we're going to talk about five keys that are still under $25. Now, Full disclosure, before I get some negative comments about how these aren't really, uh, you know, key books or, you know, anything, any kind of negativity whatsoever, these are under $25, okay? We're not talking about grails. We're not talking about major keys. We're talking about totally attainable keys under 25 bucks that have really good potential to um, see an increase in value. This is a price point that way more people can get behind, um, which is why I was excited to do this video. And um, let's just jump right in. First off, we have X-Men Origins Deadpool number one. This is a one shot, okay? And it's a the origin of Deadpool retold. Um, it's also a From Russia With Love uh, movie poster cover homage. And um, you can still find this book for under $25, raw, near mint. You might have to look a little bit, um, but if you're patient, if you look hard enough, you can find a near mint copy for under $25. Bucks. Um, graded, they go for much more than that. Um, at the time of doing this video, I did find three copies on eBay. Um, and today is October 13th, 2020. So it's just, uh, it's a really cool cover for one. And for two, it's a key issue because it's the origin of Deadpool retold. And I think that Deadpool is a character to watch out for right now. I know he's already made his appearance in the MCU, um, but I think he's an undervalued character. I think that more and more and more stuff is going to come out with Deadpool in it. And I think now might be a good time um, to get in. And this is a perfect entry level book to do that. Next up, we have Rocket Raccoon number one. And if anything, this is just an awesome cover. It's got Rocket on the cover there. And uh, this is a mini series, and it's the first solo title for Rocket Raccoon. Um, you can easily find this for under $25, raw near mint. Um, you can even find some graded copies at a reasonable price. Um, so. There's nothing too special about this book as far as events that happen inside the issue. It's, this is more about the character. And um, I think that in Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot kind of stole the thunder from Rocket Raccoon. I think Rocket was actually intended to be um, more of the, the breakout character for the movie. And it just it happened to be Groot, um, which was great, obviously. He's an epic amazing character he's one of my favorites to tell you the truth um, but I think that there's still room for Rocket Raccoon to grow um, his first comic book appearance uh, in Incredible Hulk 271 is really seeing an uptick right now um, and so this is kind of the poor man's Incredible Hulk 271 it's the first solo series of Rocket Raccoon and Rocket Raccoon number one um, so that's it for number two all right, so coming in at number three, we have JSA All-Stars number four. This is where Star Spangled Kid becomes Stargirl. And so it's the first appearance of Courtney Whitmore as Stargirl. Now, this is a money book in the sense that the newsstand edition looks very similar to the direct edition. Okay, so down in the bottom corner of the little uh, UPC code box, 
it says direct sales um, and the new standard edition does not say direct sales it's very hard to differentiate the two it would have to be a savvy collector to know he had a newsstand versus a direct a newsstand is way 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 more rare than the direct edition so you can potentially find this in newsstand listed at direct edition price so be on the lookout for that that would be easy easy money um you can flip it really you want to stick stick to high grades um uh for newsstand editions for them to really demand that higher premium and so this one you can still find uh, for under $25 in uh, raw near mint condition. All right, so number four, we have Uncanny X-Men number 164. And this is the first appearance of Carol Danvers as Binary. So it's the origin and first appearance of Binary, and it's Carol Danvers as Binary. You can still find this raw near mint for under $25, but you, you might have to look a little bit. But what's crazy is that you could even find it graded CGC 9.6 for around 50 bucks. So this is a super cool cover, um, a super cool character, and um, direct edition and newsstand editions of this uh, issue are both plentiful. So there's no premium on on newsstands um, over direct. Just has to do with the year in which it came out. Um, it was right around the time where direct edition and newsstand distribution models were about equal. Um, so with direct and newsstand editions, though, you want to look for those really early direct editions in like the late 70s. And then for for direct editions and for newsstand editions, you want to look for for Marvel around 2013. That's the last. Those are the really rare newsstand editions. And for DC is 2017 for the really rare newsstand edition all right so last but not least coming in at number five we have x-men number four and this is the first appearance of omega red super popular book super common book there's a lot of copies of this but there have been rumors over and over again about him uh, showing up in the mcu in a movie um, and there is new rumors and speculation that there's even an image of him um, it hasn't been confirmed it's just a rumor this is comic book speculation after all um, but expect that if he were to hit the big screen that this book can see a substantial jump in price so it might be a good time to get in on it now you can still find near mint copies for under $25 um, and this is one where the new stand edition in high grade demands a pretty premium over the direct edition. So um, there's also quite a few copies of, of it out there. The year in which it came out though, it is more rare to find a new stand. It's definitely more rare to find a new stand in 9.8 near mint. Um, but you can, a lot of people are still sleeping on this. So it would not be unlikely for you to pick up a new stand edition listed as a direct edition price. Um, just make sure you look for one in, in high grade. Um, unless you're getting a screaming deal on it in low grade. So even if Omega Red doesn't show up in a movie, for under $25 getting in uh, on this book, worst case scenario, you have a first appearance key issue. Um, so that that is my overall pick of these five would be X-Men number four, first appearance of Omega Red. I'm filming this video on October 14th. Um, so this is assuming that there hasn't been any big news about it since October 14th. Um, and the prices are different. So anyways, that does it for this video guys Please if you enjoyed the content leave a like smash that subscribe button. Don't be afraid to share it Follow me over on Instagram for free giveaways um, And I really enjoy doing these videos. I've got more coming up um, with different price points. So there's something for everyone um, So until then I'll see you in the next video. Bye